wonder where we are. And this side cabin area of over 10,000 square meter. Right? Over 10,000 square meter with three chamber, three rooms, with a lot of stair toy and stuff mice. In Hot Long Boy, there are a lot of limestone type like this. Uh, you can understand that a long time ago, uh, Hot Long Boy that is under the sea of the, uh, of the islands and some country under the sea. But when the earth moving, it's separate for some part, it's also separate the islands in here. And when sea level moved down, mountain moved up. So it looks like these caves are a very popular place. There's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people. Here we go, there's a group of us going into the jungle <laughs> to go and see what lies beyond these walls. <laughs> We try trek with pros, but Zoe here nearly falls over on every step. best one to come in here. And that was it. Now we go from the cave, it's very hard and humid in here. I'm kind of looking forward to getting out. How did you find it Zoe? I thought taking away all the tourists was the most impressive place in the Yeah, I don't know if you're going to get from the videos, but it is huge. Three chambers just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm now leaving the boat to get back on the bus away from Haylong Bay. Sad face. Back to Hanoi. Uh, it's gonna be a long day. We've got like a three hour stop over in Hanoi and then another seven hour bus over to Sapa where we're doing a day tour there as well. Hi guys, so we've just arrived back at the uh, hotel after finishing the tour around Heilong Bay. 
Uh, absolutely shattered. We are both so tired. We didn't get any sleep on the bus. Um, we had only a little bit of sleep last night, but it was such a good time kayaking. Um, overall, Heilong Bay is amazing. I would definitely recommend going there. The tour that we did wasn't amazing, was it, Zoe? Um, it was good. I really enjoyed Heilong Bay, but I think it's just the company we went with maybe weren't the best they could have been for the money that we spent. Yeah, like we spent $85 each on it and uh, it was very regimented, like you had to do the activities at their time when they said we had to get up at 6.45 for breakfast um, because of the type and amount of food they had on board, you didn't get to choose, there wasn't a menu, you didn't get to choose your food, you just sat down and food was brought out to you and you ate when they told you to eat. Um, so it wasn't kind of what I expected, I think that it could have been done better and I would like to do it again. Um, but overall, Heilong Bay, like there's, as I said before, worst places you could be. So overall, it was awesome. So we've now been back at the hotel for about an hour. Uh, the hostel that we stayed at before going to Heilong Bay was nice enough to actually sort of lend us a room for a few hours so that we can get showered uh, and a change of clothes before we go to Sapa. Uh, we actually got back from Heilong Bay today, have a few hours in Hanoi, and then we're going on a seven hour night bus tonight to go to Sapa. Uh, so it is a crazy hectic day, uh, neither of us have had much sleep, so uh, it's going to be an experience, but definitely one we're looking forward to, isn't that right Zoe? Yeah, I'm probably going to be really ratty with each other by the end of tomorrow. <laughs> she will, I won't. <laughs> no, you're always ratty. We're now leaving Hanoi to go to Sapma. <laughs> we uh, yeah, each had about three over stop over in Hanoi where we managed to get showered, charged up and have something to eat, and then we're straight back on the bus, so already today it's been boat. Three hours, three hour bus, and now another seven hour bus. So, yeah. And then trekking through the mountains of Sapa.